This is an introduction to scientific notation calculations. We should begin this video with a disclaimer. There are many different models of calculators out there. It is impossible to demonstrate the functions of each. This video will serve the purposes for approximately 90% of all models that are out there as of today. The first thing we should do is locate one of these buttons on our calculator. You should either see the EE button, the EXP button, or times 10 to the Y button. Now don't confuse a 10 to the Y button or a 10 to the X button for a times 10 to the Y button. It must be something that has a multiplication sign on it. In addition, many of you with TI graphing calculators will not have a button that says EE on it. However, you will see EE above a key, and in that case, you're going to press the second button and then EE in order to activate the EE function. You should also have a button that has a negative sign in parentheses, or a plus slash minus, or a sign swapping button. With a very few exceptions, everybody should have one of the buttons in the first group and one of the buttons in the second group. If you are unable to find at least one button in each group, please post to the discussion board in your class and either your professor or one of your classmates will help you. The EE button and the other buttons in the first group stand for times 10 raised to a power. They are designed specifically for scientific notation. The buttons in the second group are sign changing buttons. They can designate whether value is represented as positive or negative. In the first example, we have 6.78 times 10 to the negative 17th times 4.13 times 10 to the 38th. In order to perform this calculation on your calculator, you need to find one of the buttons in each of the two groups above. For this example, I'm going to use EE in the first group and the negative sign in parentheses from the second group. If the buttons on your calculator are different, select a button from your calculator that's taken from the same group. Upon executing the calculation, your calculator will display the answer in one of at least four different ways. It's up to you to determine what that displayed answer means. In each case, we can see we have 2.80014, and then we have the number 22 shown several different ways. We should interpret each of these answers as 2.80014 times 10 to the 22nd. While we have not yet discussed significant figures, the answer should be rounded off to three significant figures, since each of the two given values also had three significant figures. The end result is an answer of 2.80 times 10 to the 22nd. In our second example, we have 2.1 times 10 to the negative 11th, times 3.7 times 10 to the negative 12th, all over 7.2 times 10 to the negative 13th, times 8.1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now problems set up like this sometimes challenge introductory students. So I'd like to set this problem aside for a moment and tackle one that looks much simpler. Let's consider the example of three times seven all over five times four. Now many of you would multiply together the values in the numerator, three times seven and come up with 21, and five times four in the denominator, and come up with 20. The end result would be 21 over 20, which works out to be 1.05. Here are a couple different ways that are more keystroke efficient to arrive at the same result. The last method is the method we'll usually see used in this course. It tells us that we multiply together all the values in the numerator, and we divide by each of the values in the denominator. Either way, we still wind up with an answer of 1.05. Keeping this in mind, here's the keystroke sequence for the second scientific notation calculation. Please note in this example, we are using the EXP button out of the first group and the plus slash minus button out of the second group. If the buttons on your calculator are different, please select the button out of each group that represents the button from your calculator. To execute the calculation for our setup, we press the enter key or equals key 
to arrive at an answer of 1,332. Since each of the values in our setup had two significant figures, our answer should also have two significant figures. This means that 1,332 would round off to 1,300, and written in scientific notation, we would have 1.3 times 10 to the third.